Hi everyone and welcome to Learning Good. This is the Cedar Rapids Public Library Dungeons and Dragons game. Played for you by library employees. Why would we do this? Well, not only is Dungeons and Dragons hilarious to play and to watch, it is also educational. D&D teaches critical thinking, problem solving, creative storytelling, and teamwork. It's a great way for friends and family to engage with each other, especially since you don't need anything except your imagination and some dice or an app. As you watch, let us know if you have any questions. We're always happy to help you get started. Finally, while appropriate for all ages, this online program is intended for teens and adults. Let's get started. Um, in the front of the jail, it has posters of people that are wanted. That is the popular people, yes? I think so. People you want to have in your city. So uh, now that Shepard's pointed them out to you, you all can see them. Uh, okay. And there are various words and rewards underneath of them. Uh, so let me just... Is that the prize that we get for being here? Are you speaking to the city watch? Yes. <laughs> okay. He kind of, he gives the little side eye to you and then just looks ahead. Maybe we don't talk about that currently. Underneath grunts- Are, are we uh, not wanted? You are indeed wanted, but I have also made a pinky promise. So. <laughs> Is being we wanted are. a bad thing? Ah, well, he, he wanders over to the board and just rips the images off. And then he shoves them deep into his pocket. Let's not talk about that right now. Anyway. What else are we going to talk about, Capitan? I feel confused. <laughs> so <laughs> your wanted posters seem to be a little bit old. Um, so maybe they're just outdated. Who knows? Uh, uh, so we don't get a reward for being here? You would not get the reward, no. No, you would oh. not. No. Shepard, at some point we're gonna have to have a conversation about uh, context. Uh, we can we can maybe context. explain that a little bit later. Um, um, so quick thought. Um, where'd you get those uh, those pictures? Those pictures, um, so the city guard uh, looks you in the eye and says there are uh, artist renderings. And not super accurate, it seems. Uh, when the pictures were up before he ripped them down, the one that stood out the most was Shepard. And Shepard's looked very much like a demon with some metal eye patches um, and just like flames and claws and very sharp metal teeth. So obviously not exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the we see ourselves think like that can be understood between all of us at this point then? Is that mm -hmm. what we're going for here? Right. Okay. The the wanted posters were up very quickly, uh, but when they were up, it looked like very bad caricatures of all of you. Okay. Uh, okay. With very generic features. Someone needs to practice their craft. That is not good craftsmanship. <laughs> oh, Shepard. <laughs> um, yes, well... Uh, don't worry, I'll take, like I said, pinky promise, I will take care of this for you and make sure that all of this is all behind us when we uh, get done with our tests. So oh, let's go inside and I will tell you all about the test. As a reward, you should commission a new portrait that shows all of our beauty. Yes, yes, that is a great reward. Yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you get this tooth in there. I'm very proud of it. Okay. He still has that one. Ah, yes. It's a good tooth. Congratulations to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so the city, the city guard opens up the jail because obviously his house is above the jail. Obviously. As far as you know. And, uh, <laughs> and so he... Uh, Don't lie to us, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> he, Pinky promised. He opens up the door and the other two guards uh, shut it behind him. But that's it. They, I mean, they just kind of, as far as you know, go to their own homes. You are all now inside. Uh, when you walk in, you see that there are only three jail cells, which is interesting since it's a small town. And I mean, that's a lot for a small town. 
Some small towns only have one. Who knows? Um, and inside they have just a cot and a pot, a cot and a pot. <laughs> uh, I'll let you decide what that pot is for. It's a ceramic pot. Yes. <laughs> Multi-purpose. <laughs> anyway. That's okay. definitely been in, in jail, jail before. <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> okay. okay, good, good, good. okay. Um, so Lewis looks at you and says, well, you'll have to carry your own cots upstairs. And I must tell you, there's not a lot of room. Uh, so we'll have to figure it out. Oh, I have a bedroll in my pack. Oh. We all do. Oh, well, fine then. We came prepared. Fantastic. Just sleep over. Come on upstairs and we'll, uh, yes, commence with the sleepover. Yes. And I'll tell you about your first test. OK. So uh, as you go up the stairs, they're very, very narrow towards the back of the jail. Um, Grunt, you're going to have a real tough time fitting, I think, because uh, I assume that as a half-orc, half mm -hmm. you have broader shoulders than most. Yeah, there's a lot of me. Yep. Walter would not have been able to fit up in a physical form, I don't think. So uh, they kind of do a little spiral. So they start at the bottom and then kind of do a little whoop, whoop. And uh, they're very creaky. Um, there it may or may not be one or two boards missing from the stairs, just kind of showing the age of the town and the jail. Not well-funded jail, if you catch my drift. So anyway, you get it up, you get upstairs and there's a little space upstairs, a little cozy space um, with sparse furniture, furnishings. Uh, there's a cot, there is a fire, and a tiny, 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 tiny little porthole window, like whoop just to look out. It isn't, because so it isn't. Happening. This is where you live, Capitan, huh? Well, no one said the city watch was uh, flush with cash in this town. I mean, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of crime, so to, so to speak. You notice that he gives a little uh, kind of shifty eye look. But you do have a lot of crime rooms in the first floor. Yes, yes. Um, my job is mostly just taking care of these tiny tasks that I told you about, uh, these more mundane things. There's not a lot of, he pauses, there's not a lot of, he pauses again. Uh, let's, let's talk of other things. So what are the horse crime rates uh, in, in the area, just in general? Seems like that would be a pretty uh, lucrative thing for, say, a bad person to take any any horse crime uh not so, crime? not so much to speak of um honestly our horses are definitely our most fashionable trade uh we raise and race our horses they're famous world round and we get quite a bit of money from them quite a bit of income for the city and for those who live here horses give money maybe we yeah. should have a horse Maybe, maybe you could have one after all is said and done. Yeah. Is uh, that in lieu of the party or? At the party, we get the portrait and the horse. Mm -hmm. Do I get to eat the horse? Oh. No, the horse makes money. Oh, I like money. This is, this is quite a long list of demands that are happening here. Just it sounds like an offer to me. I don't. We, we do not demand, you, you offer. Yeah. It was yeah, a soft that's... offer, but you did say maybe. And I'm not going to turn down a free horse. I mean, neither <laughs> would grunt, apparently for different reasons, but... We do like gifts. I'm hungry. Walter especially is very fond of gifts. Yeah, yeah, the bear, right, er, right. Uh, so, um, let me tell you about your first test, and then we can all take a little nap until the daytime. You're really so. focused on us going to sleep. Are you are you tired, Capitan? You, you have a you have a long day with all the not crime you're fighting. Yes, yes, and I'm having a longer day right now. <laughs> you're not the first person to say that in our company. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so, so 
so he sits down on his cot, his single cot next to his single fire that really has, there's nothing in this room. They're like the barest of bare bachelor pads. Just Did you say bear? Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Walter would not fit. Uh, the space is very low. Grunt, you're uh, very, so attic mm -hmm. space, right? So Grunt, you can only stand up in the direct center. Otherwise, you're going to have some struggles. Um, there aren't even any chairs. There's not a table. It, it looks like he's had a sad time here. So uh, the captain sits down on his cot and says, I'm not going to lie to you. Were you lying to us before? <laughs> because that's just a weird thing to lead with if you were being honest <laughs> the entire time. I'm not going to lie to you, he says again. <laughs> there is some, there's some crime here. Yeah, 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 sure. Thank you, promise. Yep. Uh, there's some crime here. Uh, but that's not, that's not what we're talking about right now. So it, it's, it's too, it's too much, too much for newbie good doing friends. Yes. We're very good. Yes. Uh, but so, you know, there is a, there is the little case of Eliza's missing bunny. I'm missing a bunny? No, no, no. Eliza. Eliza. Eliza oh, is Eliza. a little girl who lives oh, in the town. Oh. And yesterday she reported to me that her rabbit, her her bunny, was missing. So uh, that will be your first test is to find Eliza's missing rabbit. Is it a rabbit that uh, disappeared alive. like Walter does? Whoa, whoa, too many questions <laughs> at once. The the half orc, ask yours first. Does her rabbit disappear like Walter does? Seems to right now. Uh, metal humanoid thing. My, Are my you metal? name is Shepherd. Ah, okay, Shepherd. good. I... It is two syllables. Shep. Heard. <laughs> yes. Good. Good. Good to meet you, Shepherd. Yes. 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 Good. You did good. Mm, yes. Good. Uh, do, this uh, creature. Do, do you want it recovered uh, alive or just the body? Uh, alive, preferably. Yes. Preferably. But dead is also okay. Oh, you are a very literal one, aren't you? Uh, no. I just dead want is not to understand. Okay. Dead is not okay. Not okay. Not okay. What if? What if, what if it? It's not our fault. What if we find it and it's already dead? Oh. Uh. Well, hopefully that doesn't come to pass. But if. If that's the case, bring it to me first before you take it back to Eliza. Yes. That tracks, yeah. That, that is good, yes. Good, good. <laughs> and uh, you, other one, did you have Thank a question? Thank you, Capitan. Uh, I did, in fact. I was just wondering, was it a rabbit or a bunny? Um, or a hare. Ah, yes. Or a jackalope, sure. I don't. You're a great group of people, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. Are. Uh, as We're very good. You say this. <laughs> as reported by Eliza to me, it is a bunny rabbit. Okay, maybe I should rephrase it. Is it for eating or is it something else? I can only assume that it's a pet of some kind. She was in tears and since Eliza is only eight, she was having a hard time. Does Bunny Rabbit have a name? Yes, uh, she did report to me, in fact, in tears, and I will uh, reenact here for you. My bunny, my bunny Lydia, she's missing. She's missing, and I just need her back. What does you have Lydia a really look good like? little girl voice. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. <laughs> when you meet, when you meet Eliza tomorrow, uh, we can ask her some more. We will meet the child. I kind of regret saying that, but yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. I will introduce you to Eliza. Perfect. I will save the rest of my questions until then. Okay, neat. Uh, so, how about how about bed? Yeah. Uh, well, hold on. We haven't had supper yet. We were going to, um, <laughs> but when we were going to the bar. I mean, I'm just, I just I don't know if you've eaten, Capitan, but I mean. We could all go for 
something. Uh, what are the refreshments in your home? Well, yes. I'm going to kind of look around. Can I do a perception check for like any sort yep. of yep. snackies? Yep. yep, just snackies. I is there something sit hidden down underneath in the middle the... of the floor because I'm too tall to stand anywhere else and it's annoying <laughs> to stand in the middle. So I'm just, just giant half work sitting cross legged middle of the floor. Elias? Okay. I rolled a 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so you uh, look around and you see that this is truly just a sad, sad attic space. Uh, as you look closer at the boards, it looks like they're just planks that have been thrown across the, um, what are those things the called? The roof? Like the joists? Like, yeah, thank you. Yep, oh, that was the word I was looking See, you for. would know yep. that. Oh. And, uh, yeah, it's just- <laughs> They're I, right above me. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> it looks very much like that, but with just like some planks thrown across. Um, there are occasionally where the planks don't meet appropriately, there are some gaps and holes. So be careful where you step. And- you, when you okay. look at the, Elias, when you look at the fire, you expect to see food, but uh, what you see, in fact, is just a fire in a little sad little fire pit sort of thing with a small, small chimney going out. You know, Capitan, I don't, um, I, I don't say this often, um, but this setup you got here is kind of grim. So um, would you... No, feel free to turn me down. Would you mind in, enjoying some snacks with us? I happen to have some on me. Oh, uh, well, you know that's very that's very good of you. In fact, I, I would I would not mind, honestly. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna bust out some mistletoe from my bag and make what's called good berry happen. I'm just gonna grow a bunch of berries from my palm <laughs> using mistletoe because that's what magic is apparently. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just gonna cause. I don't know, a bunch of berries to pop out of my hand and then just kind of offer them to the group. <laughs> uh, I do not ingest food, but this will be very good yeah. for Walter. Yeah. This is not the first time I've seen this. I just reach over and grab <laughs> no. about four of them, even though it lasts <laughs> one for all day and just pop them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. These are good berries. Thank you. See, that wasn't so hard. Now we are friends because I, I gave you food. At least that's my understanding of yeah. what's happening. Yeah. yeah. So uh, at this point, you guys can kind of, we can talk amongst ourselves um, if you if and you want, or we can go to bed. Uh, I'm definitely still kind of processing fully that like our group was on the, um, like we were in the song and now we were on the, uh, uh, pieces of paper um, and my uh, recalcitrance at uh, being a bad guy is definitely waning a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it a little hard. Um, so I would like to talk to the group if they're not overly tired. Okay. Um, at this point, uh, Captain Lewis excuses himself and just kind of goes and lays down on his cot. He turns his back to you, and after a few minutes, you can hear light snoring. So you guys he is are not a silent sleeper. No, he is not, and neither is Grunt. Um... <laughs> it's a good thing I do not require sleep. That would be very distracting. I think about all the times I just wake up in the middle of the night, and you're just staring at me, like <laughs> blankly, and just shake my head. It is for safety. Yes. yes, that's definitely the whole of it. And no other emotions surround that on my end at all. Um, so today yeah. has been strange. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good word for it. Um, so, you know, I, I'm... You all saw those posters. I mean, obviously we had a relatively... Kurt conversation about it with uh, Capitan over there. Mm -hmm. um, I thought they were posters of wanting, but now I am thinking they are not good posters. Yeah, combining that with the song, I'm... Are we the bad guys? I do not think we are bad, but I think 
people think we are bad and maybe we need to make it so people think we are good. I, I, I have just hit people with my hammer. I don't think that that's too bad, except for that one person that I hit too hard. But I don't, I try not to do that as much now. Everything I do is just to protect Walter. But if the things I do make people think that Walter is bad, then maybe I am bad. Oh. I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's still there. <laughs> um, I don't think that... I don't know what to do with this, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you are bad, think Elias? Bad. I, I, I don't think we're bad, but if other people think we do, who's right? Because if we don't see ourselves as good, or bad, if we don't see ourselves as bad, can we be bad? Or does everyone else get to stay on that? I mean, I mean, there was that one time where the nice person tried to tell me about the sun and I did hit her with the hammer so hard that she didn't stand back up again. That was probably not very good. Um, these are moments though. Like it doesn't, th these things don't define us. Like we aren't just these moments where we make, like in your instance, a mistake. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we do the test and we prove we are good. We save the bunny rabbit. And that proves we are good. And I won't hit it with my hammer. Yes, don't That's hit the bunny rabbit. They said preferably alive. Mm -hmm. Or at least mostly alive. I think. That's what they said. I suppose we got no other choice. We can be good. Fade to black. Good morning, you're awake. Okay, yep. I mean, I never slept. Yeah, you haven't moved. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're just so staring can at the have, What? Can, can I go, I have just given up in the middle of the night and gone down to one of the uh, uh, jail cells and slept in that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So, uh, oh, okay, we'll, we'll start there. <laughs> you, you wake up, <laughs> good morning. The captain is sitting in his cot. Um, and he has this tiny, tiny little bottle, uh, not bottle, like a, just a little cup of water that he keeps dipping his razor in and just like dry shaving his face. It, it looks real upsetting with his straight razor. Mm. You know, Can I buy this man a puppy? He's just, this is all so <laughs> grim. He started off with that swagger and now he's just like a sad uncle and I feel so bad. <laughs> Wait a minute, right now you're down in the jail cell apparently, yeah. so you don't see any of this. Yeah. This is true. <laughs> um, he, can I he... can I see Elias through the gaps in the floorboards? <laughs> Make a perception check. Yeah. <laughs> the natural one. Wow. <laughs> Do okay. I fall through so, the floorboards? Yeah, 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 yeah. So as you uh, as you're kind of looking for Elias through the cracks in the floor, you hear a kunk, kunk, and uh, then there's a half orc in your lap, Elias. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I don't know how many times I have to say this to you, Grunt. Uh, could you please get out of my bed? <laughs> I'm just gonna lean over the hole. Everybody okay down there? I found you. Okay is a strong word for it, but uh, yeah. Who doesn't love waking up with grunt in their lap? <clears throat> so the captain takes his water glass and, and just sets it aside with the razor just sticking inside of it. Um, and he looks at a shepherd, because shepherd's the only one left upstairs. Well, shall we uh, venture forth then? Uh, yes, uh, as captain. soon as my companions uh, are prepared for the day. I'm ready. Capitan, uh, be beware the stairs. I'll have to patch this floor later, I guess. Uh, let's go. So he, he descends the stairs. Shepard, are you in front of him or behind him? I follow. Okay, super duper. Uh, so Shepard follows along behind the captain, 
and they reach your jail cell momentarily. Ah, good morning, gents. Good morning, Captain. Okay. You think you're about ready to roll? I mean, All breakfast right. is cool. <laughs> so, uh, well, yeah, as you have seen, uh, there are very sparse things here at my establishment. I smelled so, good stuff last night when we were walking here. Can we go there? Uh, I did see some uh, some bakeries. I probably missed I would the one. Let you, I would let you try to persuade the captain, if you would like. Uh, I kind of want to see Grunt take a stab at this one. Honest to God, I really do. Mm. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, that's a 14. Ooh. Nope, that's a 12. Oh. A negative one, not a, not a plus one. <laughs> okay, Grunt. Um, I was looking at my intimidation, not my persuasion. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, please, please. I said uh, get bread. <laughs> Grunt, please explain how you, well, uh, please persuade the captain in yeah. your best persuadiness. I mean, we were walking here last night, and there was something that smelled good, and I think that that would have food that tastes good, too, and I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. So can we go there? And I think that I will buy um, you and Elias and Shepard and Walter some um, some things that are at the place that smells good. Can't argue with that. Yeah. All right. You said it yourself. You don't have, a, you don't have any food here. It's, it's true. All right. So the captain is a very smart person with very good ideas. Yes, I can tell that. Very much so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's Small go. good place, here we come. <laughs> uh, so you wander out of the jail. Um, the captain, as he walks out of the jail, takes a big iron key ring and one of the big iron keys on the big iron key ring and locks the jail up behind him. Um, and then you wander back to where you were last night, the bakery, which is now open and smells of delicious croissants and baked goods. So. Question, Molly. Yes. Can I smell things? Uh, I will let you decide that. <laughs> okay. I would, if, in my mind, probably no. Okay. But because, that's So the only thing that I'm given in terms of direction is that Warforged can't or don't um, eat, drink, or breathe. Uh, then I would say no. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. So, so, so all right, that'll be entertaining. <laughs> all right. Um, so the bakery is well lit with a, a bright oven fire that's happening in the back. And there's a nice wooden, I assume you can see this through the window. That's why I'm telling you this. You haven't gone in yet. Um, there's a bright wooden counter at the back um, with a pleasantly plump, lady who is baking with a little apron on bloop, and she's got bright red curly hair. Think Molly Weasley with an apron. Got it. Yep. Where I was going actually. Yep. yep. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now do we know like stylistically in terms of breads what are we looking at? Are we looking at western traditional like some you know, fertile crescent kind of breads, more savory. Like, what, what are we looking at in terms of, like, style? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even look. I just walk straight in. Okay. I kind of okay. have to turn a little sideways to get through the door, I assume, and probably crack my head on the top of the frame to get in in my haste. But there's a lot of good smelling stuff in okay. there, and I'm hungry. Okay. I had a good Grunt? berry yesterday. Grunt, I need you to roll a d4 to see if you take any damage from hitting your head on the door frame. <laughs> oh, Grunt. Okay, take two damage. <laughs> That's cool. That's gonna the, I the say. House so I didn't too, take right? any damage from falling a floor into the jail cell, but I definitely took yep. some. I mean, he fell onto Elias. So you yeah, have like a nice yeah, cushion. Yeah, there. Yep. Yep. Probably uh, should have rolled a so, d4 on that one, honestly. <laughs> but I also didn't. I didn't slow down. Took two damage. Broke out a little crescent shape in the top of the thing. <laughs> And just beelining right for the counter so with the the, the captain is standing out there like, oh, okay, uh, I guess we're going in. And inside, the the nice lady inside, uh, she she runs over to Grunt. Oh, dear, are you okay? 
oh my goodness, look at you, you're bleeding. And she kind of like, she takes out a little towel from her apron loop and starts dabbing your face. I, I bend, I'm assuming, really far down so that she can do that. <laughs> I'm going to walk in behind him and just say, oh, it's all right. He does this a lot. <laughs> oh, that's, but you, that's actually true. Oh, but he's bleeding and that's just not going to do. Let me sit down. Yes, here, Grunt, down. you're going to get the blood on the food stuff. I sit right on the in. floor, right the moment she says sit down, I am on okay. the floor right there. Okay, so she pats your she pats your brow a little bit, and then from behind her on a counter, she pulls a donut, and she hands it to you. There you go, that'll help you feel better. One bite, gone. Just <laughs> powdered sugar up on the cheeks, just, awesome. and I turn to Elias, be like, this is better than your berry. <laughs> It always is. Is this good food? Of course it is, my dear. Of course it is. This is the best bakery for three villages. What is the her. best thing in the best bakery? The best thing in the best bakery? Oh, dear. Uh, well, that's probably over in Tribor, and they have famous beef brownies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose... What is the best thing in this bakery? <laughs> well, dear, we, we don't really subscribe to that beef bakery stuff. So, That's good. Both sound um, terrible. Uh, we, uh, we have a well, a well, a hearty breakfast bagel that's made with some um, basil and uh, deer jerky. Yes, yes. Is that the best? Yes. <laughs> then I want that. Okay. Me too. Uh, oh, okay. Three, please. Well, uh, the captain kind of comes in after everybody else. Uh, hey, Lee, do you Beth, want one? Uh, Beth, I see you've met my new friends. Yes. Uh, so, everyone. We're good this friends. Is, yes. Good friends. Very good friends. Very we broke good. berries together. Good friends. Yes. Now, uh, Beth, um, go ahead and get them whatever they want. I told him, I think he promised, in fact, uh, that, you know, I'd take care of their food and whatever they needed while they were here. So get them whatever they want and just send the bill over to me. I'll take care of it. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, we got this. If yeah. you recall, we have, it was, uh, we have lots of gold from lots of people. I mean, places. Hey, I mean, things. Grunt, I mean, just, just, oh. buddy, buddy. Meh. We, um, we, we we got breakfast. As a thank okay. you for letting us stay in what I will charitably call a home. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, fair enough. Uh, okay, so everyone, this is Beth. Hi, Beth. This is everyone. Hi, everyone. Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, names, though, would be helpful. I'm Elias. I'm, I'm Cornelius, but they call me Grunt. <laughs> okay, Grunt, dear. Uh, she, Don't call him the other one. Oh, okay. I won't. Whatever he prefers. That's mm -hmm. fine. Uh, so, Grunt, dear, she, she uh, takes one of your, your fingers, you know, and holds it like a normal person would hold a hand. Um, come on, dear. I think you need some food. And she takes you into the back room, uh, and she motions for the rest of you to follow. Come on, come on. Uh, and then... You enter into the back area. It seems like any of the stores must have homes attached. And so the back area is Beth's home. I and duck I... very dramatically going through this doorway, <laughs> like clear it by a solid foot this time. Okay. Way. Uh, when you enter this back kind of area, it enters into Beth's kitchen. So her kitchen seems to double as the bakery's kitchen, vice versa. There's a huge farm style table that's set up and uh, there are many, 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 many chairs. So currently, <clears throat> one is occupied by a tiny little red-haired girl. Ah, Beth, I see Eliza is here. Well, that saves us the trouble of going to find her. So um, Elias, or Elias, <laughs> Eliza is, uh, <laughs> she has her head down on the table like this, and you can just hear quiet little sobs coming from her. Ah, Eliza! 
Martha. We are the bunny catchers. We help. <laughs> the bunny catchers? That sounds really bad. No, Mom. we we catch your bunny for you. That that is good, right? That, we are doing good, right? Um I don't know. Are you gonna you're gonna bring you're gonna bring Lydia back to me? This child is giving me a very strange response. I don't I don't know what to do. Oh okay. Sweet. So how, do Beth we, comes how do we make how do we make the little one stop crying? Beth comes in at that point and she pats uh, poor Eliza's little head, just like that. Don't worry, sweetie. I don't think that they mean any harm to Lydia. <clears throat> Lydia is a stuffed bunny rabbit. It's a toy. She oh, so it's it. not alive. She doesn't know. She doesn't. She doesn't know. Well, that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> Now, don't worry, Eliza. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. I'm sure they'll find Lydia really soon. Yes. We will recover I'm, your not alive bunny with no problem. I'm fairly certain one of her older siblings stole it and maybe buried it in the woods. Let's go find these older siblings. I will, I will make them give it back. Oh, oh, Grunt is here. Grunt is good at getting people to talk. He is very skilled. Pull, pull. Team, team, pull it back. Pull it back just a little bit for me. It's too early. And this house is way too cramped for any of this. Um, Beth, um, do you know where the older siblings are, by chance? As you, as you say that, Elias, uh, there are three more children that run from the upstairs part that there are stairs at the back of the kitchen. The kitchen seems to be the largest room in the home, and then there's an upstairs. I, you don't know that for sure, but that's what it looks like from this area and this viewpoint. Uh, and three older children, I would say ranging from roughly 12 to mm, 14, definitely like tweeny Ugh. kids come down. <laughs> um, and they are play fighting with each other and just like, Josh, Joshling, <laughs> just Josh pushing. Josh. And thank you. Yes, thank you, Shepard. And uh, <laughs> shoving each other as they come down the stairs. Um, two of them are boys and one of them is a girl. I'm going to immediately point at them and say, you criminals, halt. <laughs> I, oh use, my God, I use thaumaturgy to actually amplify her voice. Yes. <laughs> so it's three times as loud and like, shakes the house. <laughs> they all immediately stop and raise their hands. We didn't do anything! Where is the child rabbit, Lydia? What? What? Lydia, that stinky old rabbit? Gross. We don't know. I she is not stinky old rabbit. Up. Just she is Lydia hand. Bunny Rabbit. Where is Lydia Bunny Rabbit? <laughs> we didn't do anything! Eliza, stop tattling! Do not There's talk to little girl. I am talking to you. Where is Bunny? I am talking to you. Where is Bunny? I feel I like would... I am being disrespected. Yep. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, you really, this is, this is bad. You don't want to make her mad. I promise you don't want to make any of us mad. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I, we are good that. people. On, you are bad people. I put people. on my biggest intimidating six foot seven, 300 pound giant war hammer look that makes like captains of guards tremble in there the 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 tweeny the tweeny girl mm. kind of does this little what <laughs> what mm. Mm. i can i can literally picture this just in my mind <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, mm -hmm. good are we um, allowed to uh use use violence on the suspects Oh. Captain Lewis, Captain Lewis uh, chimes in here. Well, you'll see now why I have yet to deal with this particular problem. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go on my patrol for a while. <laughs> Good luck, all. Oh, nobody. <laughs> uh, so he, he leaves the, the shop with a little wave to Beth, and she kind of does a little, like, uh, <laughs> exasperated mom sigh, and he walks out. Uh, so... Babies, and 
Beth tries to go and kiss the, the tweeny girl. They are babies, and she obviously pulls away. Ew, mom, get out. You're really good at that voice, by the way. Yeah, I would just like to uh... say. <laughs> you know, I didn't hear a no when I asked about use of, of violence against oh. the criminals. No. So does that mean, should we... No, 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 no. These are my children. These are my children, not... Well, not you got like, yes, but they are criminals because no. they stole the Lydia bunny rabbit. It's just a, it's just a, I'm sure it's just a prank. Yeah, we didn't do anything. But pranks are bad, right? And we're good. And we're good. So we need to stop it, right? Eliza is now starting to just wail uncontrollably, and there is just a very loud, just crying sound that I'm not going to do here because it would just be so awful. Why but, is the yeah. Eliza child crying? We are doing a help. Uh, fine, Eliza, stop crying. If we show you where the stupid bunny rabbit is, will you make her stop crying? Yes, reveal the location immediately. If Fine. you don't stop her from crying, I'm going to cry. <laughs> you do not want Elias to cry. He does it very loudly. I'm, I'm a sympathetic crier. <laughs> Listen, Laura, we're not going out into the woods with these people, so I guess you're the youngest you get to. What? That's not even fair! I didn't even hide the stupid bunny rabbit. How am I supposed to find it? So she's talking, and this is, uh, now you know this little tweeny girl's name is Laura, Laura. And, and she is talking to her two older brothers. She is the youngest of the three that are there. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the brothers start kind of pushing Laura, go, just go, just make her stop crying. Whoever it is, the person that is responsible for the bunny rabbit, should help us find the bunny rabbit. It is is it is not Laura, is that what is I am gathering. That's one of the other ones. So it is one of you two. So who is responsible? Take us to Bunny. Can I do a perception check af as she finishes that to kind of see if any of them give off any like notions of guilt? <laughs> yeah, sure you can. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's not great. Twelve. <laughs> okay. Well, good. That's the age of Laura, so it's perfect. Uh, so. <laughs> As she, as Shepard finishes her statement, uh, saying, you know, which one of you did it, they all three point at different children. It's not Who's my fault. Who I did Laura it. point at? Laura pointed at her oldest brother, Tucker. I trust the girl, Laura. Tucker. You Why do you trust the girl? Rabbit. Shepard, why do you trust the, the, Laura? Well, the other two miscreants were trying to pin it on Laura, so I would presume that Laura knows who is actually responsible. Finally, one sense. of the smart ones. I am very smart. Uh, She's yes, very this smart. Is, this is true. And she has a bear. Um, so, I just have a thought. Um, what if we were to say, take all of us into the woods, and then we could collectively ask Walter about it? Oh, yes, I, Walter will help. I can carry them all. Um, just a quick little second here. You're going to take <laughs> all three of my children out into the woods? Oh, just the three older ones. Ah, yes. And Eliza can stay. Them. She is good. <laughs> she is good child. And her crying is, is a little much. This so, sounds uh, like a logical and totally normal thing to do, and I am for it 100%. <laughs> just, a, just another quick second here now, my, my darlings. Um, <clears throat> you're going to take my children out into the woods after you threaten violence against them, and, uh, and that seems like a plan to you, eh? <laughs> They've well, done you bad said, things, and we're good. You said no to the violence, so we will not do the violence. I just oh, wanted good. to know what Probably. the rules are. I am <laughs> trying to follow the rules. Well, okay, you know, and normally I would not say that you should take my children into the woods. Um, but you know, I'm a good parent. I just, uh, <laughs> I need a little rest, so. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> They've been quarantined for a long time. <laughs> okay. we, we maybe have been cooped up here for 
we're too long together. It might be okay to have a little jaunt into the woods with some new friends. And there's three of you. <laughs> so I just, I just remembered something. Um, Capitan didn't get anything to eat. I kind of feel bad about that. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get Captain Lewis some breakfast in a little while. Uh, and let me just, she pulls out a giant like gurney sack. Is that what it's called? Gunny sack, a gunny sack. You know, like you carry potatoes in. Mm -hmm. And she just starts shoving baked goods into it. No, oh, don't worry, I'll take care of you too. Here's some more baked goods. Here we uh, go. Which, and the understanding which is, one is not to be one? used. Yes, Is that just my one. breakfast? Yes. Okay, because I, I need the best one for Bear. Okay. Yes. Yes, they're all in there. Okay. All of them. Okay. All the breads. No, Grunt, I want just ground rules out here, not just for you. But she said it's my breakfast. Our collective. It, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was supposed to be for I everyone, will leave I a think. good one for the bear because he's a good bear. The best one. <sighs> the best yeah. one. The bear. Yeah. Okay. All right. Tucker? Laura? Really not going to push back on that bear, let's huh? Let's go. You're going with them into the forest. I'll see you later. <laughs> Play with bears. Oh, my God. She, get, she gets each of them their little jackets that are hanging on hooks. And as they go, she just kind of flops them on top of them. Here you go. All right. Are they bear-proof jackets in some way? <laughs> <laughs> What is, can I roll perception on what's going through Beth? Is there an empathy check? I need to understand <laughs> what is going on with Beth the Baker. You have obviously never been a parent of multiple children, check. have you? <laughs> no. I should we'll Walter very strangers. deliberately. <laughs> just, just go out. Go out. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to stay here with Eliza. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. 